Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be reviewing the Goody 8913 set. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment down below what you want to see next. Let's get started. Now I wasn't a big fan of the quality of Goody bricks. Um, with an unbiased opinion, I think Slugan bricks are much better. They fit together um, a lot better. But these aren't terrible, but they aren't great. I mean, um, they come, they come out quite easily. And they're not as durable. For example, um, the front, this cockpit here, um, this um, this windshield part is not screwed together um, with the main cockpit itself. Um, you have to slide it on. And um, when making the plane, um, you need to connect the cockpit with this um, with this top part for the door. Um, insert the the cockpit and um, this top part onto the plane itself this part will come loose so it really makes it hard to um put pilots in and out and um change the controls you know maybe put like a you put like a coffee cup up there and this isn't a massive problem but it sort of ruins how functional the plane is um and really decreases points for the playability factor of this plane here's the door aesthetically i really like it um it uses the sliding um, mechanic. It opens, it opens well. Um, but I like how Goody included this. It sort of adds a touch um, of detail that it's a real plane, which is nice to have. And there's only one door on this plane. Here we have the windows, um, the main fuselage, and the wing, two wings. Looking at the windows, um, one thing you might have noticed with the windows is that there's this little one stud piece here between each of the windows. It's same for the other side as well. Um, this really isn't ideal um, and it adds to the feel that it's more of a medical plane rather than a civilian um, aircraft. Now this wing is massive. On the tip of the wing we have a winglet or sort of like a vortex thing here. Adds a nice touch of detail. Same with, same with this that goes on top of the engines. Having a look at the engines, um, these, um, Goody could have done better with this. There's no um, actual fan blade which which really gives a appearance that it's an aeroplane engine. Moving back, um, here we have the area to store cargo. It opens well. I have some cargo inside, some milk and carrots. And over here is the back of the fuselage. Now this thing, um, now the main tail of it, this thing is very thick. It just works really well with the rest of the plane. And here are the two, um, winglets or elevators, whatever you want to call them, at the back of the wing. Um, I like how it's grey, matching the colour of the other wing. Now let's have a look at the interior. Before that, let's have a look at the landing gears. Here's the front landing gear. Now it's connected by um, um, these two uh, light grey things. They connect to the bottom and it connects um, all the way here. Here are the lights and the main landing gear itself. Moving back, we have the main two landing gears. These are situated on the wing. I like the height that this um, that these landing gears give to the plane. And these landing gears, um, they look really nice. I have to say, aesthetically, Goody did a great job with this. Here's the cockpit. The pilots fit in well. Here's a better shot of the controls. Now, um, there's no cockpit door here, which is something I would have liked, but it's always something I can't add in. I would have liked to have sort of um, a control here between the two pilots, you know, just to give a feel that it's a more realistic aeroplane. But it's not something you see um, with the cockpit roof on. Now, the pilots are actually sitting on this... Um, on this middle, I like to call it the middle piece. 
this. Now, I find there's no need to have um, this in. Because here is the, um, the cockpit. Now, as you can see here, it's very thin. So, a pilot's arm will not get stuck in. And it would have been much better if they could add controls in. Now, they keep, now they have the same principle with the passenger seats as well. I'll show you that a bit later. Now, this area, there's nothing here whatsoever. Goody didn't add anything in. They didn't include anything to come with it. Which, again, is something I can fix in the customization. But it would have been much better if they, you know, add anything in. Seats, whatever. Now, this thing here. But it is necessary for structure um, for the wing. Because it is part of the wing. Rather than just not putting anything in at all. Here is the main passenger cabin. There's six seats in total. Now there's a little space between the seat and the window. This is done so many things have a space to put their arms. Which... Which normally isn't a problem, but it is on this plane, because of this little one stud thing between each window. Now this hinders mini figs to rest their arms on top of the window. So to fix this, Goody added um, these things here. But, um, now these basically take space off the aisle and sort of add it to the window. So many things have space to put their arms. Now this creates a very narrow aisle. Now if this mini fig wants to get to a seat, which is here, how awkward would it be knocking down seats? Yeah, you know, just trying to get to a seat. It doesn't even fit in the aisle properly. You have to jump between the seats. This isn't practical whatsoever. Now I know this is a toy, it's not a real plane. But it's just a simple fix, you know, just with the windows. And in my opinion, it would have been much better if they did otherwise. Anyway, moving back, um, we have the galley here. Now, we have, again, sort of an area. Like, bland area, nothing. They didn't add anything. It would be nice if they, you know, included, you know, um, maybe a, cr um, a seat for the crew or a, um, a drink cart. Anyway, um, here's the main, here's the gully. Now, there's no sink. I guess this is sort of like a preparing area. In here are the cabinets for the food. Again, I think they could have done better with this gully. Just, all they need to do, I like the idea of having the cabinets and, um, you know, the area, to, um, the area to prepare the food. It would be nice if they added a sink and, you know, just, a seat or two for the for the crew members here's the area for cargo now it ends here the door opens well and it can store quite a lot of things quite a lot in here to me um this this plane set was a mix of this lego airplane set And this Lego aeroplane set. Anyway, it can store quite a lot of cargo. And it does open and close nicely. But in my opinion, I think this just takes out space um, from the main passenger area. I think because this is supposed to be a civilian aeroplane. Or at least it looks like it should be. I really think that... Um, they should have emphasized more on um, just adding areas, for, you know, just adding seats and, you know, having the different classes, having the galley, the toilet, you know, just stuff like that. And one more thing is that this part here, it's not very durable. I mean, it comes up quite easily. And, and the, the tail of the plane... It's really shaky and not, um, it's not very solid. Let's have a look at the control tower now. Here's the control tower. It's very sleek and very aesthetic. The height is good. Um, I, I like, um, how they included a sticker here. 
Those here are a lot clearer than the, um, than the ones with the Slubin set. Fortunately, um, it's not, it's not very well structured. Durability wise, it's not very well done. Because it's very, um, it's very shaky and not, and it's just not held together well. Here I would have added, um, sort of a piece here to connect these two things, you know, to help with structure. Over here we have the controls in this one seat. The interior is very basic. Um, these windows don't move. They're stuck, um, they're in one fixed place. Moving up, um, we have a roof of a control tower. I really like this. Um, the whole tower is just, it's very sleek. Here we have, um, some windows here. I really don't know what this is for. Because you can't actually put a minifigure in. But in terms of aesthetics, this adds to it. It just makes it seem taller and sleeker. Here's the main radar. It moves up and down. But it's quite stiff. But it doesn't move um, from side to side. But overall, the control tower is very sleek. Let's have a look at this. I'm not sure what you call it. But it basically just is a pathway um, that connects um, passengers to the airplane. It allows passengers um, to enter and exit. Just some stairs would have done the trick. Here's the forklift. Here's the main mechanism that moves the forklift up. It's basically, um, we have this um, thing here. Um, sort of this piece, basically this piece, um, between these two pieces, which uh, allows the forklift to move up and down. Now, this comes with a rubber band, but for some reason, well, this is supposed to come with a rubber band, but for some reason, I didn't get it. So, I had to use this. So, this, um, thing here is basically pointless. Anyway, um... I really like this forklift, it's very well done. Um, it can even move back, which I don't really think is necessary, but nice to know that it's a feature that can be used. The wheels are kind of strange, and um, you can see the minifig driving the forklift. Really can't see that well. Colors are really well done. Um, and the main structure just looks really nice. Over here, um, the back of it is sort of like an area store stuff. It would have been better if this was a smooth um, piece. Overall, this forklift adds a really nice touch to it. And again, it's like this Lego airplane set. Here are the minifigs. This set comes with seven minifigs in total. Uh, two pilots. Two workers on the ground. Um, he he was the guy um, um in the forklift, and he was he's sort of like a maintenance guy. Two passengers. This could be an air traffic controller or maybe a CEO. I'm really impressed with the Goody minifigs. They feel a lot like um the Lego ones. They fit together well, and they're just really sleek. Um, here's a better look at the cargo that was in the plane um, previously. Now there's two main crates. This is um. This is this is mainly filled with boxes. You know, this one has the news in it. This one looks like it's a gift. The other one looks like it's a package. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. But it fits together well, and it really looks like um that it's real cargo. So um it looks really good together. Um, now here, now this is supposed to be, I guess it's supposed to be milk and carrots. Um, now this, um, this crate, this crate, it's supposed to have, um, it's supposed to have this on top. Now, but it comes off really easily, which unlike this actually stays on, because there's no studs actually connected. But... You might be wondering why um, these two ones actually stay on. It's because um, the edge of... I'm not sure if you can tell, but these are actually two separate boxes. 
and the edge of each um, box connects it together. Now over here, it's only connected at two points, which is here and here. But unlike this, it's, it's connected here, here, and all the way here. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I'd rate this set a 9.1 out of 10. What would you rate it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.